All right, man. Let me turn this fucking thing around. Right. I'm just casually filming. Because I, I want to do this stream real quick to uh, talk about an interesting um, analogy that just got presented to me as it pertains to my inability to show extraordinary evidence about my claims of what's actually happening. So before I give my rebuttal to it, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead as this guy's actually sending me messages through. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to explain to you what the dragon in the garage analogy is as it pertains to a lack of evidence in terms of like verifiable evidence in terms of there being a belief in God, right? Like there actually being a God that exists and is present in some way, shape, form or fashion that can be verified. So the original argument was made by Carl Hagen and then it was uh, also discussed and talked about by other influential philosophers like Daniel Dennett, you know, who I've referenced to a lot before in the past. So basically what the dragon in the garage analogy is, is like, and it's really, it's, it's really like a fallacious argument is what it's deemed as being right. Is, uh, they're saying that metaphorically, there's a dragon in a guy's garage. Okay. And he tells you that the dragon's there. And you're like, well, holy shit, dude. You got a real life dragon in your garage? I've always wanted to see one. I didn't think they were real. It's always just been speculated. I thought it was a myth. What's up, buddy? Thought it was a myth, right? So, you know, out of disbelief, they're like, well, dude, can you show me this fucking dragon? Because they can't possibly fucking believe that it's that it could be real. But the guy's telling them, no, nah, dude, it's real. This dragon's in my garage. So <clears throat> they're like, well, I mean, is there a safe way that I can see that verifiable evidence that there's a dragon in your garage? Like maybe you got like footprints or something or burn marks on the garage from the dragon's fire breathing breath. And he's like, no, no, there's nothing like that. But it's in there. It's in there. And they're like, oh, okay, well, how about I just get up and I just, you know, peek through the window. And <laughs> they go up and they peek through the window and they don't see a dragon. So they ask him, like, well, where's this fucking dragon you're talking about? What is it, small? Is it a baby dragon? And the guy's like, oh, no, it's in there. I promise you it's in there. You just, you just caught it at the wrong angle. You're just at the wrong angle, but the dragon's in there. So we, so we got to look at it through, we got to look at the garage through a different angle and you're going to see the dragon. It's, it's in the back left corner, man. You just can't see it, right? So the guy's like, okay, well, is it safe for me to just, for you to open the side door? And I'll just, yeah, I'll just look through the side door. I can see the entire inside of the, of the garage. And if it's in the back left corner, then I should be legit, right? I should be safe from the dragon. You know, give me a piece of shielding and I'll block its flames as, if it happens to breathe, breathe flames when I walk in. So, takes him to the door, opens the door, glances inside of the garage, and lo and behold, he doesn't see a dragon. So again, he's like, dude, are you, are, are you fucking with me right now? Because I thought this was serious, man. I thought this was real. I thought you were gonna show me a dragon in here, but I'm looking and it's not here. So then the guy proceeds to say, well, yeah, it, it floats, man. It, it's a floating dragon. You can't see it because you were looking at the ground. So then the guy goes like, all right, I'll go back in the garage again. Let me look up in the air. Same thing. Still no dragon. So essentially what keeps happening is the person who made the bold claim in the very beginning, <laughs> they'll just continue to use some type of, a, you know, basically an, another escape route or something to basically just continue to make their claim 
but not ever actually accept that any of the, you know, the, uh, that anybody who opposes that claim and actually tries to do anything to prove what they're saying, that they can't ever actually prove it. So that's, I mean, in a nutshell, that's pretty much what you're dealing with, right? That's the dragon in the garage. So they compare that to people who make the argument of there being an almighty, you know, omnipotent, ever present God operating here, you know, and in the galaxy and around the universe, right? The, the creator of the heavens and the earth and all that good stuff, right? So they use that same analogy to compare to that. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'll just go in and give my rebuttal as it pertains to how I try to demonstrate and provide actual factual evidence or undeniable proof of the type of covert and overt harassment and uh, orchestrated, organized, you know, group harassment that I contend with, right? So, because it's it's damn near impossible to prove. And every time somebody says, well, why can't you just show this? Well, obviously I have to come up with a reason like, hey, I can't fucking show that. I, I don't know what you want me to do, right? So then rather than me concede that they are right, I can't do that. So, here it goes again. There was no plane in the sky, but there it is now. Right fucking live on stream. Right fucking live on stream yet again. Wow, what a fucking coincidence. So, here's the difference, right? Here's the difference between my situation and the claims that I'm making and the dragon in the garage. So we can use the same analogy, okay? But I tell the people, hey, gang stalking's real, man. This shit's going on. This is happening to me every fucking day. They say, all right, cool, <clears throat> show me. I say, okay, yeah, I'll show you. And I give them the opportunity to see the evidence and see the proof and find out for themselves. There's no imaginary dragon in the garage. The dragon is actually in the fucking garage. What people do though, is they wanna look in the garage from a reflection of glass. They wanna look in the garage from the reflection of a fucking mirror because I don't wanna to get too fucking close to the garage because the dragon might burn my fucking face off or eat my fucking heart, right? So they'll get, they'll be like, oh, but, but if you hold a piece of glass up outside the window, I can look off the refracted, reflected light and I can fucking see the dragon that way, right? But that doesn't work. They don't see the dragon that way, right? Rather than just opening the fucking garage door and looking and seeing the fucking dragon, they'll make every excuse why they can't. There it goes again, the same fucking one. It just flew over me again. It did a loop and it came right back. So rather than just open the fucking garage and see the dragon for yourself, and literally accept that it is actually there, they'll come up, they'll do the opposite. They'll, do, they'll come up with every excuse why it's too fucking dangerous to look in the garage. But they'll still continue to deny your claims. You're telling them, dude, all you gotta fucking do is look in the fucking garage. And they're like, no, man. I mean, there's gotta be a safer way. It's just not safe. It's not safe for me to look in the garage because if i look through the window then the dragon uh who knows the dragon might have um supernatural powers and it actually has medusa eyes so if i look through the glass in the window to verify that the dragon's there well what if the dragon looks me in the eyes and turns me into fucking stone bro you see they get far out there not me i'm telling you that the dragon is definitely super powered, man. It's supernatural mythical fucking creature. It has fucking otherworldly fucking powers compared to everything else on the planet. 
but <laughs> it is definitely like that but it's all based in science and logic it's nothing that's like can't be explained you know some animals could breathe fucking you know fire some giant fucking reptilian fucking type animal could fucking fly around in the sky with a giant fucking you know tail it's fucking possible i mean so that's really it man like <laughs> the problem is with the people trying to verify the proof that is where the problem lies it is their cognitive dissonance it is something that is literally preventing them from just opening the fucking door to the garage and seeing the dragon in the back left fucking corner it's there it's not an imaginary fucking invisible dragon that i'm going to come up with a hundred different fucking excuses why you can't see it no there's a reason i don't i didn't believe in god and still you know i'm, I'm on the fence 50 50 since i was 17 years old okay because i get the arguments i understand that argument very well i matter of fact i i played all these fucking games and and used all this logic and everything on people in the past in conversations that i've had i know it all really well i mean I will admit, honestly, that I hadn't heard that analogy in quite a long time. Probably since about 2014 was the last time I even heard anybody reference to that. But <clears throat> the fact is, man, the onus is on the people to actually try to verify the evidence. The onus is on them. It is not on me to give you such overwhelmingly convincing evidence that <laughs> you're going to be so fucking blown away that there's going to be no fucking doubt. It's not on me to beat you down, blindfold you, capture you in captivity, and take you and throw you in the fucking door to see the dragon. That's not my fucking responsibility. My responsibility is to tell you, dude, there is a supernatural, superpowered fucking dragon in this fucking garage bro and all you got to do is fucking see it i'm telling you it's fucking there this fucking thing it's eating me out of house and home i can barely keep it contained it somehow draws off my energy to keep itself alive and it's fucking sucking me dry dude i'm gonna fucking i feel like i'm dying every day but we're connected somehow i can't fucking get rid of it and they're like ah oh, bullshit bull fucking shit you don't got a dragon Right? You see my point? It's the same thing. So, <laughs> the onus is on the people who want to believe that it's there to actually make the necessary steps to literally see the proof. That's it. There's no, there's no necessary steps that you can take. Well, you know what? There are. There are necessary steps that you can take to literally try to see the proof of an existence of God. So claim the, you know, the theologians, right? They'll tell you that, well, if you start with, you know, introducing yourself to the ideas and the belief systems and you, you engulf yourself in that mindset and that life, then over time you will naturally and organically obtain faith and that faith will unlock all of these supernatural things that come along with it, right? That's their argument. And again, none of them can be misproven. None of them. At all. So... I don't know, man. This is just a fucking merry-go-round. It just goes around and around and around. So, whatever. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see if I got any comments. I don't know if I do. All right. Yeah, I got a couple comments here. <coughs> They're saying now some real targeted individual says you're a fake target and 
you are buddy is spelled y-o-u-r apostrophe e you are it's a conjugated it's a, it's a conjugation buddy or a conjunction whatever the fuck it's called so um what does focusing on airplanes and helicopters like weirdo have to do with gang stalking here we go again man here we go again 99 percent of targets are paid crack rock by police departments to act like weirdos online cool story man do you have hey do you have a counter to my argument do you have something intelligent to bring to the conversation to bring to this live stream or did you just come on here to fucking ad hominem attack me and fucking you know use slander or whatever else you got to fucking use to discredit me I mean, at least give me a fucking straw man argument that's weak as fuck, and I'll just blow over real quick. But if you got nothing else to provide, man, why do you even fucking bother? You have a fake ass fucking name, bro. Cal Marsh. Cal Marsh, welcome to the live stream, Cal. So, what we're talking about is we're talking about the metaphorical dragon in the garage. This is uh this is an argument that was created by Carl Sagan and uh, it was kind of picked up and expounded on by uh, Daniel Dennett back in the day and basically they proposed that <laughs> you know trying to prove that people trying to get you to believe in God compares to a metaphorical scenario where somebody has an invisible dragon in the garage that they keep telling you is there but when you try to look in the garage and see it they keep telling you, no, it's here, but, and they give you another excuse and another excuse and another excuse, right? So I was told that exposing gang stalking and trying to actually portray evidence that it was comparable to the dragon in the garage. And that I was actually, <laughs> you know, I was actually uh, not presenting strong enough evidence. But my opinion is that there's plenty of enough evidence. The problem is not on my evidence. The problem is not on there actually being a dragon in the garage. There is definitely a dragon in the garage. But the onus is on the individual to actually want to open the fucking garage door and see it for themselves. People are too fucking afraid to actually approach the garage and look and visually see or feel or hear that there's a real fucking dragon in there. It's that simple. They'll come up with every excuse the other way. Why they can't fucking see it. They'll look at your evidence, but they won't actually look at it. Because as soon as they see one thing, cognitive, cognitive dissonance kicks in, and they discredit all the rest. It's gone. It's gone. They don't even... Blinders come on, they don't even fucking see anything more. Because they are indoctrinated. That's the problem. Their indoctrination is what's preventing them from seeing the fucking truth. So, hey, I too was once indoctrinated. I too was once, you know, blind. I too was in the same fucking position as all these other fucking people out here. The only difference was I had a mind that was already hypercritical and hyper aware and observant and very good at paying attention to small details. So these vehicles that just keep passing. There goes the handicap placard. That's the common theme all the time. So why does everybody that drive a Jeep that drives a red or a white Jeep, why do they all have handicap placards or vanity plates? I mean somebody answer that question for me. Why are they always passing me? Why are they why are they always passing me? And why do they always have handicap flaggers, vanity plates, and shit shit like that? Why is that? Simple question to answer right there. I mean, if, if you want to debunk my argument, that's a simple place to start right there. I say why is this and you give me an explanation. And then I give another counter explanation and we go from there. But just completely denying everything. You're not looking. 
You're not actually looking in the garage, man. If you're going up and you're putting your hand on the side and you're saying, okay, tell the, tell the dragon to breathe fire and, and it should emit heat. I got my hand on the side of this garage and when the dragon breathes fire, it's going to emit heat and that heat, I'm going to feel it. So I'm going to know for sure there's definitely a fucking dragon in there. But then they'll feel the heat and they'll be like, yeah, but actually that might not be a dragon though. There's other things that could also do that. You could have a fire going in there and the temperature inside of the garage just actually got warmer in the in the previous five minutes that we've been out here talking about this. Therefore, eh, you know what? It's not good enough. Okay, dude, so why don't you just go in the garage and see it? No, no, I can't do that. What's the difference? What's the difference between that and the original fucking uh, metaphor? There's no difference. Anyways, where are we at here? Your trauma from the gang stalking has made you focus on tiny details like vanity plates and handicapped stickers and you're discrediting yourself. The gang stalkers have put you in a loop that you are now using to discredit your own self with unimportant details. It's very real. It's the hindrance of our day to day lives, he says. So, let's see here. All right, let's go back. All right, we only get stronger, says Jeffrey Cockington. Cool, man. Uh, Real target individual says, you just discredit all your evidence by saying, oh, look, another airplane flying in the sky just for, look. That white SUV just literally, Pamela 44. Pamela 44 was her license plate, literally just honked at me. Is that not fucking evidence enough for you? That that person is a paid, organized fucking harasser. What more do you need? What was that right there? They drove by, they were driving a white SUV, they drove by, they honked at me, and they literally had a license plate that said Pamela 44. Vanity license plate, like I just talked about. Explain that one away, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, real targeted individual. Explain that one away, sir. Please do so. Anyways, where was I? I was reading these comments. Dude, they don't care if they even expose it to other people. Because they know that everybody that matters in my life will never look in the fucking garage. They don't even care about how much evidence they give me. They don't give a shit anymore. It's not fucking, it's not month six, okay? The first six months when they were trying to fucking just be so secret and private and fucking hide every little thing out of fear that the whole thing was going to blow up in their faces, okay? No, it's not that. They don't give a fuck. They know there's nothing I can do and they are fucking with me more and more about it. They're trolling me more and more all the time as a result of my inability to get people to just open the fucking garage door dude <laughs> and, and open their eyes <laughs> is that simple stop making fucking excuses i'm giving you the evidence i'm telling you what it is and you're wanting it you're wanting me to fucking <laughs> allow you to view it in some fucking way it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Just fucking view it. Here comes the police. They're exiting out of uh, Gore Lakes Mufflers, a closed down fucking business where they're just parked and they just pulled forward over there for no apparent reason. That can be determined. The, the cop was just parked right in front of the building, but then as I walked up, he just pulled forward approximately four to five feet and then stopped again. But again, there was no actual real explanation for that. That was nothing more than just another random act of, of a coincidence. So, not the police officer gaslighting me in any way. I mean, of course not. Why would he do that? So, yeah, dude, this is a fucking police state, guys. That's what this is. Look at this right here. There's another Jeep. You see that Jeep? Terry 11, Terry T E R R 11, right fucking there. She's got 
st same stupid fucking repetitive shit over and over and over again. I'll come up to a fucking intersection, I'll come to a road, there they are. There goes another cop's gonna pass. Another police officer's gonna pass. They're, they're literally the ones doing it, dude. This ain't rocket science, man. There he is, look. He has to look at me. They all have to turn their head and look at me, dude. Every fucking time. It doesn't matter if I have a camera on or I don't have a camera on, dude. They turn their head and they fucking look every time. That's the stupid shit that they do. So, again, the onus is on you to open the fucking garage door, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, anyways, where were we? Ugh, yeah. I have noticed people are acting strange nowadays. Oh, wow, cool. The gang, yep, okay. They thought you were handsome. Yeah, they were looking at me because they thought I was handsome. You know, I would have thought that. Uh, but not even people looked at me that frequently. You know what I'm saying? Because women used to look at me like that. But now, they turn their head intentionally to not fucking look at me. And they're directed away from me everywhere that I go. So, you know, that fucking defies that fucking argument. I mean, there's hard 1620 HRD, one of their fucking license plate themes, hard target. They use HRD, they use HXY. These are just their common fucking themes of these fucking stalkers and harassers, man. Oh, sorry, pardon me. These followers, they're, they're paid followers. They're not... They're community-oriented corrections officers. They're not actually doing anything to me. And, uh... Therefore, it's not any form of harassment. They're not violating any laws or doing anything wrong. So, apparently. So. Yep, uh... But anyways, no, I really, uh... I came on this just to talk about that... That topic there. And, uh get my last steps in so look at that red suv red truck white fucking suv all three in a row man all vanity plates on that shit they'll just keep going and going and going in fucking waves man they just keep coming and like i said i mean at at the bare minimum these are organized groups that all follow these repetitive themes and they're part of these fucking organizations. At the bare minimum, it's that. And they're always somehow on the road. So, bare minimum, it's these organized groups following these repetitive themes on their license plates and their vehicles. And they're all in cahoots with each other, but they're just like secret society organizations or some shit. But they're not actually doing anything to me. They just coincidentally are always on the fucking road everywhere that I go. So. Even that is a conspiracy that groups like that exist. So, but that one is much easier to fucking actually prove, right? It's much easier to prove. So, anyways, let's see what else we got here. Yep, yeah, no other, uh, no other rebuttal or comments from anybody, any peanuts in the peanut gallery, so. This is how it always goes, man. You guys got nothing to fucking say. You got nothing to bring to the fucking conversation. You're, you're fucking worthless, man. You're worthless. Bring some people on here that actually want to look in the garage. Because you guys know what's in the garage, and you're just fucking bullshitting. That's the problem. What's up, buddy? So. Yeah, bring me some fucking people to my channel get traffic on my channel with these people that don't have this fucking cognitive dissonance fucking problem something broken in their fucking brain this mechanism that prevents them from just opening their eyes they'll be like okay all right you know what i admit i just gotta literally go in the fucking garage and they'll walk in the garage with their eyes closed like they're on a fucking roller coaster going up the big fucking hill and then they'll pass out when they get inside the garage and they'll have to get fucking rushed to a medical rush to fucking emergency room and they'll never actually have the ability to open their eyes and actually see it because they actually passed out and they'll be like oh no i was in there though there was nothing no you weren't fucking in the garage dude you fucking closed your eyes and then you fucking hyperventilated and passed out dude 
and had to rush you to the fucking hospital. You never saw the fucking dragon. Good job. Another waste of my fucking time. And then they'll go around telling everybody about how they walked in the garage and there was no dragon. I was in there! No, dude, you weren't actually in there. You didn't fucking actually see anything. See, I can play this game, dude. I'm smart, man. I told you. I told you I'm just as smart, dude. I can do this all day, man. I really can't. Red and white, side by side each other. Here we go, there's another one. There's another one. So let's talk about that red and white vehicle that was driving right side by side each other back there. And the guy drove, look, that guy fucking yelled at me. And that guy driving the vehicle was wearing a yellow fucking fluorescent shirt and a red fucking hat on backwards. Why? Why? Again, organized group harassers, dude. This is what they fucking do for a living. These people are out here to drive around and fucking do this shit, man. Wake the fuck up and get the hell over it. Stop telling me I'm a fucking crazy person. Stop, stop telling me I'm fucking wrong and there's something wrong with me and start seeing that the problem actually lies in you. It doesn't lie in me. Yes, I have mental health problems. Whoopity fucking do that. So do most people. But the problem is not me. The problem is the rest of you. That is the fucking problem. Your inability to want to fucking accept that you're too fucking scared to look in the garage, dude. That's it. Because if you looked in the garage, you might actually have to do something about it. And it's the same way with, with the uh, theologian's argument, right? The original argument. Well, you know. It's the same thing. So, all of this is just a bunch of constructs. I mean, it's all based on our intelligence and it has fucking limitations. And it can only go so far. Everything is fucking subjective. The only thing that's objectively true is what can be fucking measured with mathematics. And I talked about how I literally used Maxwell's equations and Poynting's vector and I could tell the fucking direction of the travel of the fucking the EMF directed energy. But that's not enough. That's not enough. Because I can't literally show that stuff to everybody else. You know, it was more like to demonstrate it for me. To just fucking put my own mind at ease. You know? But other than that, there's nothing I can do, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. So. So, I'm coming back to the house. Let's see if anybody commented again. <clears throat> You're the Jeremy DeWitt of the TI community. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. He just fucking yelled at me, dude. This is what I'm talking about. Like, they'd never seen somebody walking down the road with a camera. He yelled at me in some fucking obnoxious fashion because he's an organized fucking harasser, bro. Like, that's what it is. I had two vehicles yell at me in the span of fucking eight minutes. One was a white fucking SUV with a vanity plate <laughs> that said Tor 1-1. Literally, probably gaslighting me at the fucking Tor browser I just downloaded a couple of days ago. Right? So, and the other one was just another one of those fucking same people. So, let's just stand here on this intersection for a minute while I go through these comments. Um, so, look at this guy. Look at the shit. Look at the ad hominem attacks. That's all this guy brings to the fucking conversation. I mean, seriously. Get more and more and more. Let's see here. They thought, oh, no. Okay, we're past that. Custom plates are common. You're just hyper focused on them. Shut the fuck up, dude. I cannot be focused on them. I'll open my fucking eyes at an intersection, and there they are. Right fucking in front of me every time, dude. I've documented it time and time again, man. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nice live stream. Now go pick up your crack rock from the sheriff, buddy. Yup, okay. 
Right on, dude, because I look like a crack. I look like somebody that does fucking drugs, buddy. I'm fucking damn near 40 years old. I look like I'm fucking 30. I look better than fucking 90% of the population at my age. So, yeah, that's not working, man. Try something else. Please sell my stuff with gremlins in them. I fix it and keep moving forward. I don't know what that fucking means. Uh, they sell they sell me stuff with gremlins in it. I just fix it. Yeah, I got you. Huh, so a guy wore a yellow shirt and baseball cap backwards just to harass you for 0.2 seconds. No, he drives around. They do it to a bunch of fucking people, man. It's just the vast majority of the people that they do it to driving around all day don't have a fucking clue what's going on. They don't know that they're actually there doing anything. And it's literally for them. They're completely blind and ignorant to the whole thing, but they're being fucking followed. They just don't fucking know it. it takes a long time, I guess, to fucking figure it out. Um, let's see here. We already went over that about what the guy said. Do you think these people have a license plate maker in their car or something just to harass you? No, but they do change out license plates. And I've visually seen them change out license plates at a stop sign. I watched it wasn't a stop sign. It was a red light. They had not a state plate on this vehicle. Okay, I come up to this intersection. This is in the beginning. This is like three, four weeks in. I come up to this intersection. I drove behind these people and I went in this fucking gas station and did a loop around so I could come back behind them and try to document their license plate again. All right. So I documented on my dash cam. I see it says one thing. When I try to loop back around to get back behind them again so I can drive up behind them down the road and catch up, I get stuck at a, at a traffic light opposite of them facing the other direction so while at that traffic light a kid in the passenger seat of the car gets out goes around the back of the vehicle takes the license plate that was on there off sticks another license plate on there with magnets or some shit comes back around hops in the vehicle i get through i go around i drive back down it's a completely different license plate on the vehicle they swapped it out it was all gaslighting bullshit man again why would i make that up why would i make that scenario up that i literally visually saw that I mean, honestly, come on, man. I mean, let's be realistic about some of this, dude. Nobody's going to fucking make that shit up. Get it fucking happen. So. Sound like a hater. Uh, yeah, he is a fucking hater. He's a fucking pussy scumbag. He's He got on fucking medication. He let the state take control of him. And, hey, fucking enjoy the rest of your life, buddy. You see that? Does that look like somebody that fucking does crack, dude? And I'm damn near 40, man. Fucking dumbass.